Shalom. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechach, Kadash. Okay. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and they taught us this truth. All right. Yahweh is the heavenly father who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right. Which means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. If you're watching this now and you're so-called black, Native American, or Latino man or woman, you're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Holy Bible. All right. This is uh, Acts, the first chapter. We're going to do a quick breakdown on this. All right. Just going to try to read as much as we can on this chapter. All right. And, um, you know, Abarat Zah, meaning Father's will. You're going to get edified and you're going to learn, you know, more as, as we go on with these videos. All right. So this is Acts 1 and 1. It says, the former treatise have I made. O Theophilus, of all that Yahweh Shai began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. All right. Now, being taken up is because he was taken up into what you call uh, UFOs. They're chariots of the Lord. All right. Um, and it's going to go into that as we as we further go on. All right. It's going to further go into that. All right. So maybe this, uh, this lesson might be about, uh, you know, UFOs and, you know, which are the chariots of the Most High. All right, but I actually want to get into that topic and other topics as well in this in this chapter. So it says until the day in which he was taken up. All right. After that, he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles whom had chosen whom he had chosen. All right. So he chooses people. People don't choose him. All right. It says to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Those infallible proofs or, or were things that were actually seen. All right. The things that you hear of throughout the Holy Bible, such as him walking on water and stuff like that, you know, things that. But the thing, these are the things that came after he was um, after he uh, he rose up, you know, on the seventh day. Oh, it's like on the third day. It's like it. Right. It says being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of Yahweh. So these men were preaching, man. They were teaching the things that Yahweh Shai taught them. And, and they were speaking of the things that they seen him do. All right. All the spiritual powers. It says and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the father, which said he ye have heard of me. Now, why would he say that they should not depart from Jerusalem? These men were Hebrew Israelites. That's why. All right. But wait for the promise of the father, which says he, ye have heard of me. All right. So the promise is that um, the kingdom is coming, man. All right. The promise is that Yahweh Shai is our Lord and Savior. He's coming to save us. All right. It says, for John truly baptized with water. All right. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. All right, because we don't we don't get baptized with water anymore. All right. I mean, we get baptized with water, but it's the living waters. It's the word, man. The word, man. The word, these words that that are uh, written in this Bible. This is what you get baptized by. We don't get baptized by water. So when you go to uh, Christian churches and Catholic churches, they're going off because they're trying to baptize you with water. But. It says right here clearly that we'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit. Because holy means um, truth. So the spirit of truth. So we're getting baptized with what? Um, knowing that we're Hebrew Israelites. Because the churches, they don't tell us that we're Hebrew Israelites. So that's the thing, man. Esau even tells you actually. Now he doesn't tell you so that you'll actually get it. But he'll hide it in things like his movies. All right? He'll hide it in, in, in his artwork. He'll hide it in... Uh, um, his, you know, his television, his entertainment, his music and, and all these different things, man, he'll hide it, you know, kind of like to play a fool on you, but he won't tell you all right. Like in the movie, um, what was that movie? Um, uh, when it was about Nat Turner, it's called birth of a nation. It was a remake, but all throughout the movie, he was speaking about going to, to, to the promised land, um, in Israel. And they said it, they even said it themselves, man. You know, all throughout history, you hear people talking about the so-called blacks being the real Jews. You know, from Edomites. All right. So-called uh, Native Americans, Latinos being the real Hebrew Israelites. All right. So it says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? 
So he thought there was that Yahweh Shah was coming into um because he came back, you know, he came back from the dead. So it was like, yo, you uh, you know, are you coming back, Yahweh Shah? You coming back to uh to uh, to deliver us right now? And, and it says, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So no man knows the uh, the time, not even Yahweh Shai, man. All right, verse eight. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Which is, you know, the, the, the truth, man. All right. These words, it says, and ye shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the world. Now, the witness uh, is going to be um, th those those uh, people, those Hebrew Israelites who look like the other people, the other nations, man. They look like uh, Elamites. All right. Uh, which are the so-called um, Hindus. All right, they look like uh, Ishmaelites, which are the so-called uh, Arabs. They look like Moabites, which are the so-called Chinese. Ammonites, which are the so-called Japanese. They're going to look like the other nations, but they're going to be Hebrew Israelites. When you look at people like Bruce Lee, you can tell him apart from other Chinese people because he's a Hebrew Israelite. He has swag. That man has, has swag, man. He, he was put in this earth to have a purpose, man. You know? That's our people. We have a, a, a great influence amongst the whole the whole world, man. You know, only Israel can do that. All right. It says, and when he spoke and when he had spoken these things while they held what they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. A cloud. See, that cloud is talking about the chariots, man. All right. Because when you go when you read the book of Exodus, it talks about the um a, a cloud led the Hebrew Israelites by day. And a pillar of fire by night. All right, that that cloud is um is what you people call UFOs, man. Let me get a, a quick precept. This is Revelations, chapter one, verse seven. Actually, you know what? Let's go back really quick because it actually goes into that precept. So let's read. Let's keep reading. Verse nine says, um, and when he had spoken these things, while he while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. If you watch like Star Trek and these different movies that um people getting uh, abducted by aliens, they get that from the scriptures, man. They get that from the scriptures, all right. They they steal everything from the scriptures to make it entertaining, but you won't know it because you people don't read the Bible, and you don't have any faith and you don't believe that this is talking about a so-called UFO, all right. It says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. All right, so two angels just appeared out of nowhere, man. All right, it says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he's coming back the same way he left. So let's get that precept now. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds. Because he's going to come with multiple chariots this time. It's going to be multiple so-called UFOs. And they've been being spotted everywhere, man. And the reason why you got you people keep seeing these chariots, these UFOs, is because Yahweh Shai is getting ready to make his return, man. You see the, uh, the, the diseases and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places? Well, guess what? That was spoken of in um, Matthew 24. We'll get that because... This is a great, this is great because this is what Yahweh Shai said were going to be the signs before he made his return. It says, um, Matthew 21, 24 and 1. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him to shew him the, the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. He was prophesying. He was telling them, yo, this place is going to be destroyed. Don't worry about these, you know, this, this, this temple, man. You know, I right, don't worry about, you know, it's a great temple. Yeah, but you know what? It's going to be destroyed anyways. All right. So don't don't marvel at these things, man. All right. Like these people in the churches, man, they glorify these big, valiant uh, um, churches that they uh, that they hold with such great antiquity. You know what I mean? So, and they and they they praise their, their damn churches. You know, they, they sh show both how beautiful their churches look, how some of them look like football stadiums and whatnot. He was telling them, don't, don't marvel at these things, man. This stuff's going to be destroyed and put and put down, man. All right? It says, and as he sat upon the Mount, Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Right? 
and now you see it all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all over the news. People are saying that this is the end of the world, the times that we end with this whole coronavirus and the economy collapsing and um, the, uh, World War III coming and, and Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID microchip. But guess who, but who's been prophesying about those things? The, the, the men of Great Millstone and the men who teach the likewise doctrine, man, for, for decades been warning you people that this stuff is coming. Now, all of a sudden, you people are prophets now. So it will be, it will, it will be whole, it, listen, it will behoove, behoove you to, to, uh, to follow us and believe in us a hundred percent because believing in us is believing in Yahweh Shai, believing in Yahweh Shai is believing in the father. And that is going to get you saved, man. Having faith. If Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will allow it, allow it to happen. Cause we don't, I don't even, I don't know if I'm a part of the the elect, the people that's going to make it out of here when those nuclear missiles hit. I don't know if my family is going to make it. All right. We, no one, none of us know. Only the Heavenly Father. That's it. All right. It says, and Yahweh Shai answered them and said unto you, take heed that no man deceive you. Because people are being deceived right now uh, by other um, uh, religious, by religious groups. All right. Such as being Christian and Catholic and, and uh, um, uh, what's that? Afrocentric and centric and uh, 5%. And being a Muslim, do you believe in these things, man? But the Heavenly Father, that didn't, he doesn't want you to believe in those things. He wants you to believe in him through his son, man. You know? Those people are deceived many, man. They have a great big following of people who just follow them blindly, man. That's no bueno. All right? And verse 6 says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's a prophecy. Hold on. When he makes his return, first you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's all you hear on the news right now. It's being swept under the rug by this whole coronavirus, but it's all being played on one big, big pot right now. I'm just boiling and stewing up pestilences. All right. Earthquakes, um, wars, uh, race riots, uprising of the people, man. That all that stuff is happening right now, man. So obviously these are the signs he's about to make his return, man. That's why you're seeing um, what you call you people call UFOs all over the place. That's why Donald Trump wants to make a um, a space force, man, because they know. Because Ronald Reagan said it himself. He said there's a, all this powers out there that if we all if if we were to be um, in, invaded, we must all come together, man, and fight against that power. All right. That's they were talking about Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. Like it speaks about in in in, in Daniel chapter twelve, man. Well, behold, um, in that day, um, Michael. The archangel shall stand up, basically stand up for us and, and, and fight for us, man. We so-called blacks, Native American, and Latinos. All right, now I roughly phrased it, you know. I didn't read it verbatim, but that's what's going to happen. The angel's going to fight side by side with Yahweh Shai and destroy these wicked people, man. And, and two-thirds of our people, because they're wicked as well. And we can get that, man. So, all right, so, so it says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Not yet, all right? But it's coming. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. Now, nation is talking about um, uh, races of people, all right? Because then it says, because then it says, and kingdom against kingdom. Now, why does it say that? Because it's the nation versus nation is first talking about races of people, because Most High deals with nations. He don't deal with uh, um, when you call yourself Puerto Rican or black. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to see that in the Bible. You're going to see nation versus nation. It's going to say, well, that's what, uh, race versus race. Now it says kingdom versus kingdom. That's talking about the different um, countries, different uh, superpowers that are, are at hand right now. All right. It says, and there shall be famines because famines are coming, man. It's going to be a famine of bread and water and people are going to be starving to death, which is a bad way to die, man. It's an evil way to die, man. You know, but people are going to feel that pain. You know, it says, and pestilences. Hold on. The coronavirus. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a pestilence. All right. It says in earthquakes in diverse places. All right. So these things have to happen. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So now you see people getting worried now. People are now, what the hell? Yo, what about those Hebrew Israelites that used to um, talk about this stuff? All right. Yo, is the end really coming? So now people are seeing this. Why? Because these are the beginning of sorrows, man. All right. It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's talking about the elect. That's talking about us. All right? Because you people are going to turn on us. The ones of you who don't truly believe, you're going to turn your backs on us. You're going to say, yeah, him, he's a Hebrew Israelite. 
you know, you know, you, hey man, your, your family's gonna come against you. So hey, be prepared for those times, man. Those times are coming. So back into my our point, we get revelations. These are the things he said that was gonna happen, man. So Revelations one and seven. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him. So now how every eye is going to see him? That's because there's such thing called reincarnation, man. And, he, and plus, on top of that, his chariot is going to be so big that everybody's going to be able to see him in the world, man. And, and, and um, like in that movie Independence Day, when a the, when the big ship came, everybody saw it, man. You know? So let's read on. It says... <clears throat> And they also which pierced him. So how are the people that pierced him going to be able to see him? He died in the, on the cross, all right? Um, those men died too, uh, you know, shortly after. They must, you know, they lived out their lives and stuff like that. The ones who uh, pierced them and throw, threw rocks at them and spit on them and, you know, all types of fucking evil things, man, you know? How are they going to be able to see him in these days? That proves reincarnation exists. If, he's, if he can die and come back in three days... What makes you think he, uh, the Heavenly Father doesn't have reincarnation set up? People are stupid, man. All right? It says, And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are men. So they're not going to be rejoicing and be happy. The men of the Lord are going to be happy. The one-third are going to be happy, but not you other people out there who believe that he's coming back for uh, all people. You going? It says, All nations shall, it says, All kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Wailing and screaming and, and, and agony, man. So, what are you people talking about? What are you Christians and Catholics talking about, man? Oh, I love him. I love him and he loves me. Well, it's so you'll be wailing be, uh, because of him. All kindreds of the earth. Not just demons. Not just the, the devil. It says all kindreds. All people. No, those are just the, the demons that are going to be... Yeah, man, whatever, man. That's not what the scriptures say. You know? <clears throat> Let me see. All right, so we're going back to Acts, right? Acts 1 and 9. It says, And when he and we had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of, the, out of their sight. That's a chariot. It says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven... As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white, white apparel. All right, two angels came. All right, they just appeared out of nowhere. Spiritual powers, man. And it says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, of Galilee, why, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he's coming back the exact same way he left with chariots, man. All right, with who would you call so-called UFOs, man? It's easy, man. All right, verse 12. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the Mount of Mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they were gone, when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus and Alphaeus and Simon, Zealots, the Judas, the Judas, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continue with one accord and prayer and supplication. One accord, all right, meaning they're all um, in harmony, man. It says, with the women and Mary, the mother of Yahweh Shai, and with his brethren. All right, and in those days, so they were there with them, you know. So, and, the, and in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the, of the disciples and said, the number of names together were about 120. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs be, have been fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Yahweh's shot. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of his, his ministry. So now they look for someone else to take his place. It says, now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and failing and falling headlong. He burst asunder into the mist and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, and so much as that field is called in their proper tongue, Aseldama, uh, that is to say the field of blood. I believe you say um, blood is Dama. I believe that's how you say blood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, for, it was, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein. And his bishopric let another take. 
So, so they're looking for um, someone else to take um, Judas' place, man. It says, Where of, wherefore of these men which have com, com, uh, accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Yahweh Shai went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until that same day that he was taken up from us, all right, up into those chariots, must one be ordained to be witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two, Joseph called Bar Barzabas, who was surnamed Just Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, choose whether of these two thou hast chosen. All right, so they're praying and asking the Lord to show him which one of these two men are going to take um, uh, Judas's place. It says that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the 11 apostles. So now, you know, the lot means basically, um, you know, they kind of, you know, casted lots. It's like casting a vote, you know, basically, you know, and he took a vote. And they, you know, the spirit was on them that told them that it should be Matthias. So, our now, and so next time we're gonna go to Acts chapter two, man. All right, this this is beautiful. You know, Abba Rathaza, meaning Father's will. You know, we go into um chapter two very soon, um, maybe later tonight. All right, um, but if, hey, man, look, the chariots, the chariots are real. All right, the the UFOs are real. All right, Yahweh Shai is real, and Heavenly Father is real, the angels are real. This is real, man. You see the things happening now, so get right. You know. Uh, watch these videos and study, man. All right. With that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhal Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, taught us this truth. And um, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth in sincerity. The water for which I do, we love you. We appreciate you through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.